गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस ऑफ टेंथ महाराष्ट्र बोर्ड दैट इज पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द वेरियस पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज स्टेट पार्टीज नेशनल पार्टीज सो वॉट वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ दिज पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज इन अवर politics that we are going to study in the third chapter and in our second chapter electoral process we have seen what is the election process means how the election process take place what is the role of election commission uh, functions of election commissions we have seen we have seen the code of conduct again we have seen the changes taking place time to time uh, in the means how the ballot boxes were replaced by evm machines that we have seen in our second chapter so today we are going to start our third chapter so let's start in the last chapter we studied the working of constitution and election uh, procedure political parties are link that connect common people democracy representation and elections so in our second chapter we have seen the working of the constitution means the wo the work of the election commission elect we have seen the election process huh? democracy representation how our representatives get elected in the elections that we have seen again we have seen that political parties they are link between the subject means people and government because because these political parties they are working for the people and they have to listen the needs they have to take care about the problems of the people they have to listen the problems of the people and then they have to share that problems with the government and to find out the solutions so that's why political parties are called link between the government and the people so whatever we read or hear about politics is related to political parties political parties exist in all democratic system in fact political parties compete with each other only in a democracy so students we know that we always hear about the politics politics so what is the politics politics means matters related to the political parties and so there are number of political parties in our india so they that political party is doing competition with one another and that competition is very good very healthy for a democracy because in the democracy when many political parties will be in the competition then that time they will take care about the welfare of the people so that's why it is very good for the democracy to um, see in this chapter we will study the political party system in india in your school and surroundings you must have seen some groups institutions organizations working to achieve some objectives so we have seen there are many social organizations and governmental organizations many groups institutions that are working to gain some goal some objective achieve some objective some organizations take initiative in resolving social problems you may have read about various movements and their work just as there are active groups institutions and movements similarly there are political parties who contest elections so students as we have seen there are number of organizations and that organizations are working to resolve the social problem social issues we have seen about various movements so farmers movement workers movement so these movements uh, that they are doing that movements for the for the welfare of the common people so same way there are some political parties that political parties they are content 
contest election means they are standing in the election day and they are trying to win the election and see why they want to win the elections that we will see political parties are also a kind of social organization but there is a difference between political parties and other institutions and organizations in society political party it is also one kind of social organization but there is one difference between the other organizations and political parties what is that difference so the difference in the goal and style of working of political parties and other organizations on this background we can say that when people form organizations with the objective of achieving political power and participate in electoral process such organizations are called political parties so here it is said that there are number of organizations social organizations institutions we can say ngos that are private ngos that ngos are also working for the people but ngos they are achieving their goal <coughs> by the by their own by their they, by themselves but here political parties they also want to achieve the goal there are some objectives of the political parties and they want to fulfill that objectives but their working style is different political parties they are standing in the election and their their uh, their um, aim is to win the election and then they are working for the people and these ngos and they, they are not waiting for any election or that they directly start their work so see what is said here on this background we can say that when people form organizations with the objective of achieving political power means when we will get political power that time we can do the work for the people and participate in the election process such organizations are called political parties political parties thus can be described as a group of people who aim to contest elections win election and get power and establish the government of their party we can say in simple word political party means a group of people who want to stand in election and win that election means to get power and then establish their government and that time when they will get the power that time they can do the work for the people so that is political party following are some important characteristics of political parties so here very uh, important political uh, very important characteristics of the political parties are given what are that see number 1 to be in power achieving power through election is the main objective of political parties thus different political parties compete with each other to get power there is nothing wrong in this competition but the competition should be fair so first characteristics of political parties that is to be in power every political party they want to be in power means every political party's main aim main objective is to win the election and then achieve the power so that's why there are many political parties as we know in our india so that all the political parties they are doing competition with one another and that nothing is wrong in that because this is very good for the success of democracy means political parties they will do the competition to gain the power and when they will get power when they will win the trust of the people how they will win the trust of the people when they will work for the society that time they can win the trust of the people so here it is said that that competition is very good there is nothing wrong in the competition but the competition should be fair we have seen in our second chapter hmm? uh, that uh, election should be free and fair atmosphere so here also says that the competition should be fair so that is the first characteristic number 2 to pursue an ideology 
so ideology means what thinking so here it is means thinking of particular party what are the thinking uh, way of political party so see every political party has some politi policies and world views parties have a particular stand about social issues so every political party they are have their own policies and their own views so here it is said that parties have a particular stand about social issue these together make party ideology so there are many poli political parties in our india so that political parties have their own ideology bjp party their ideology is different congress party their ideology is different so for example congress party their ideology what is that ideology the poverty should remove from our country illiteracy should be vanished from our country all the people they should get free and means all the children they should get compulsory and free and fair elections so that are the ideologies of congress means and there should be secularism in our country so that are the ideologies of congress party bjp party is also having their own ideologies there are means every political party they are having their own ideology the people who consider any specific party ideology as acceptable support that political party means here say that people those like the ideology of particular party they will support to that party social support received by a political party is called mass base of political party so when a political party is getting maximum support of the people that time that is called mass base of the political party for example shiv sena shiv sena got lot support in mumbai so that's why we can say in the mumbai that is the mass base received to the shiv sena party means mass base means support of the people in modern days ideologies of all political parties appear to be similar hence it has become difficult to differentiate between the parties on the basis of ideologies so here it is said that in the modern days um, all the political parties they are having their own ideologies and many times the ideologies are similar how they are similar just now i have told the ideology of uh congress party suppose they want to vanish poverty from our country bjp also want the same thing and Ill literacy 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 should spread in all parts nook and corner of the country that is the ideology of the bjp also means many political parties they are having similar ideology so that's why it is difficult to to uh, differentiate between the parties on the basis of their ideologies now third characteristic that is to have a party agenda agenda means what agenda means list of subject or problems or issues so to how to sort out that is the way that is called agenda political parties prepare their parties agenda on the basis of party ideology every political party they are preparing their own agenda on the basis of their political party's ideology they implement the agenda after they get political power so all the political parties they are preparing their agenda they are keeping that agenda in front of the people means uh, they are giving promises to people if we will win the election if we will get the power that time we will work on these issues on this problem first first we will solve these problems so like that agenda the political parties they are giving promise to fulfill implement on this agenda so even if they do not get political power political parties try to get support of people on the basis of this agenda so if a political party did not get majority of seat 
and means the political party did not win the election then also political party they did not leave their agenda they are trying to get the support of the people and they are trying the party which win the election that party should fulfill the problem sorry uh, that party should sort out the problems means their agenda should be fulfilled by the current government elected government should work on their agenda by taking the support of the people so that is the have a party agenda so here see now next it is next characteristic of political party it is to establish a government political parties establish the government and govern the nation the political party which gets majority in elections form the government the parties which do not get majority act as opposition party every political party want to establish their government <coughs> all political parties are standing in the election to win the election so when they will win the election when they are getting majority of seats in the election means um, above 50% of seats they have to win in the elections that time it is called majority of the seats so the political party which gets majority of seats in the election that party is able to form the government that party can form the government so then after after is a uh, means after getting majority of the seats that time that political party can form the government and gain the power so if any political party did not get majority of the seats that time that party can play the role of opposition party so see uh, to act as a link between the government and the people that is the next characteristic what is the in the introduction i have told political parties are link between the government and the people how it is here it is explain you see political parties work as a link between government and the people political parties communicate the demands and the complaints of the people to the government the government tries to get support of people for its policies and programs through political parties so here it is said that political parties are link between the government and the people how this political parties means our representatives which is uh, win by our support people support means in the election those representatives are standing in the election that representatives are elected by the people by the public so public will tell their problems to the political representatives and that representatives will communicate the demands and the complaints of the people to the government and that time the government will tr try to sort out the problems of the people uh, through their programs and the policies so he here that's why the political parties is called link between the government and the people so what do you understand by the following news in newspaper explain in brief here first one is said that opposition parties held a meeting in mumbai to resist the ruling party will take up the issue of farmers so here it is said that opposition party they held a meeting to resist means to uh, to pressurize the uh, ruling gov ru ruling party means uh, those parties are those parties have established their government so those parties are in power that party they should sort out the issues of the farmers that's why opposition party pressurized to the ruling party ruling party organize samvad yatra in rural areas so such kind of news 
we can find in the newspaper so what do you understand by the news that you have to say means first we have seen that when not only just the issue of the farmers but when any issue farmers issue soldiers issue common people's issue that time opposition party is taking the support of the people to fulfill the demands of the people by the ruling party but that when the uh, but for this opposition party is pressurizing to the ruling party second ruling party is also organizing samwa yatra in the rural areas means ruling party to satisfy the people ruling party is also time to time uh, doing such activities in the rural areas so next imagine you are an opposition party leader and you have observed that the ruling party has not done good work in the field of health what will you do as a leader of opposition so, so students i hope you understood the question very simple here it is said that suppose you are the leader of opposition party and you found that the ruling party is not working good in the health department that time as a leader of opposition party what role will you play that time now see in in as we are aware about the corona virus that is spread everywhere but in maharashtra many places we have seen the opposition party they are taking the support of the people and they are trying to pressurize the gov government and they are trying to sort out the problems of the people we have seen as a leader uh, or suppose you are the leader of the opposition party then time what will you do so here it is question is asked what now you think and you have to give your reply so next think and write mahatma gandhi vinoba bhave and jay prakash narayan put forth the idea of party less democracy what has to be done to bring such democracy in modern times so what do you think about these mahatma gandhi vinoba bhave and jay prakash narayan they have put forth one idea means they have represented one idea what is their idea party less democracy what has to be done to bring such democracy in modern times party less democracy can you find party less democracy will be successful in our country if yes then how that you have to tell now see next it is given here changing nature of political party system in india first the congress was a strong political party in the post independence period congress had a majority at center in most of the states so here it is said that congress party after the independence means post independence means after the independence as we got independence after that congress party became means congress party was a strong party that time everywhere there was a power of congress party center states many states congress party was ruling even in center also congress party uh, gained the power many years indian politics was controlled by the congress party this era was declared as the era of single dominant party system so that time many years just alone congress party was ruling so that's why this era is described as the single dominant party system is that time there was no other powerful party in our country that's why single dominant party system that was called to that period next the non congress parties come together and challenge single dominant party system in 1977 so in the year 1977 many parties they came together and they formed the 
न्यू चैलेंज इन फ्रंट ऑफ कांग्रेस पार्टी सो ऑल द नॉन कांग्रेस पार्टीज दे केम टुगेदर एंड दे हैव चैलेंज टू द कांग्रेस पार्टी एंड इन दिस वे इन 1977 दैट टाइम मुरारजी देसाई ही बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया नाउ नेक्स्ट थर्ड आफ्टर द 1989 लोकसभा इलेक्शन द सिस्टम ऑफ वन पार्टी emerging as dominant party came to an end since then different parties began to come together to form coalition 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 government both the bharatiya janata party and congress party made an experiment of establishing coalition coalition government so here it is said that before 1989 that time just one party was ruling means majority of the elections was won by the national congress party just alone single party so that time hmm, that time there was a dominance of only one party but that concept was changed after 1989 lok sabha elections that time what happened that time uh, since then different parties began to come together and form the coalition government what is the coalition government see when when one party cannot get or when one party cannot gain majority of seats in the election on its own that time other political parties support each other and no one part means w- that time uh, one party's dominance is reduced so that is called coalition government coalition government so coalition you can call it coalition government so the that system started in our india both the bharatiya janata party and congress party made an experiment of establishing coalition government the belief that coalition government brings in instability was proved wrong by the political party system in our country in fact the coalition government system has uh, stabilized in india so when bharatiya janata party and congress party they tried this coalition government that time it was a wrong belief that coalition government will not um, will not bring stability in the country means means the government will be not stable that ro- idea was proved wrong because both the party bharatiya janata party and congress party they have done the experiment and they got success also in the election narendra sorry uh, this atal bihari vajpayee he also got success even um, manmohan singh he also formed the coalition government and he also got success so um, so here it is said that in our country coalition government also can bring stability in the government do you know if power remain with one political party for a long period and if no other political parties are influential the party system is called as one party system second the politi- in politics when two political parties are inf- influential and if political parties enjoy power alternatively the party system is called two party system here it is said that two political parties they are having influence and that parties are enjoying power alternatively means particular period one party will remain in the power and after that another party will come in the power so that alternatively they are enjoying the party uh, sorry uh, enjoying the power that is called two party system we can find the two party system in britain and usa so see when many political parties compete for political power and more or less they are equally influ- 
influential the party system is called multi party system in our country india we are having multi party system because there are many political parties so next is say do this find out the member parties of the following leading collisions so see nda national democratic alliance that is the means bjp is the main party and with the bjp there is collision means other party support so here we can find uh, janta dal uh, jdu uh, u uh, central uh, sorry union so jdu l uh, again uh, with the bjp uh, l ljp so that is also the member of that nda and upa united progressive alliance so they are national congress party nationalist congress party trinamool congress party and uh, and this um, which is uh, d m k d m k that party is also included in the upa government okay now we will see the next also understand so we will uh, we will stop here and we will study the next part in our next session thank you very much